Uh, welcome to the Shinobi blog. I'm Paul Reed, training out of health, fight, and fitness solutions.co.uk, D size in North Wales. It's still fall. How many times have you been over now? Do you know, I think seven or eight times now. Never get sick of it. Look at the view behind me. And you came over for one of the camps, right? I come over one of the camps when I first started training, really, and uh, never looked back since. And we just became friends. And we became friends, good friends. And now you're doing a fight promotion? Yeah, well, you know, I've been involved with it, probably too old to compete, so I want to try and put a promotion on. been to too many bad promotions. Uh, the amateur game in our area back home is really poor, so I want to try and do something properly, bring some of the young fighters through, perhaps, you know, in the future, take some pro fights on, see where it goes. And, and when's that on, Paul? It's 28th of September, um, Deeside Leisure Centre, which is just outside Chester, but it's a, you know, we promote it as a North Wales promotion, there's nothing else in the North yeah. Wales area, really. Is there a website for information? There's a website, yeah, at, uh, Shinobi MMA Fighting Championships.co.uk. Nice, no, got the, the name and all. Nice, yeah, nice. And we all know where the, uh, the name is inspired <laughs> from, don't we? Okay. What inspires you, Paul? What inspires me? Um, many things inspire me. I suppose life inspires me um, in many in many ways. But I think the people that have faced adversity, have seen some tough challenges in life, and I see them, you know, as positive people that, that want to do well and, and, and are selfless with other people. And yeah, they, they inspire me. Them kind of people. And I've got to say, some of the coaches that I've been fortunate to spend time with, one of them I'm talking to now, they inspire me as well. <laughs> what, what has martial arts done for you? Well, you know, I'm going to get a little bit deep. Um, I got probably training more into martial arts because I was thought I was in a bad stage of my life, really, where I was a bit passive, didn't want to challenge myself, and I thought this was the biggest challenge I could do. It's the toughest thing I've ever done. Um, it brought me on. It changed a lot of things in the way I look at life. You know, it gave me challenges. Um, and I just wish I started younger, really, you know, but um, that's why I got into martial arts. It just, it just gave me a challenge. It gave me a new focus. It stopped me focusing on just career something outside of my job. What scares you most? It scares me most is well, two things really. Um, failure, and not because I've failed because I've done my best, failure because I've found excuses why I haven't tried hard enough. That, that scares me. And if I'm honest, age scares me. Because the time comes where I can't train anymore. I can't do this anymore. I can't do the things I can do anymore. Yet yeah, age scares me. Yeah. If you were to go back in time five years and meet yourself, what would you say? <sighs> Very stressed individual, going through a marriage breakup, working too hard, carrying too much weight, just totally lost the drive in life. You know that was five years ago. This this is what the sport did for me, brought me where I am today in a good good place. You know. And the last one, what do you want to be? I just want to be. I just want to be as good as I can be. I want to be somebody who can inspire other people as well. You know, I want to be just known as a good man. Simple as that. Really. It's a pleasure, man. Thank you. Thanks.